All right, so given the fact that I uh, don't get to share much of my uh, tractor escapades and stuff, I thought it'd be a great idea to get out here and uh, show you how some of that clearing is done and how we do it with a tractor bucket, chainsaw, etc. I've been clearing out that front area. Um, it's taken me quite a while to do it, but um, I've got most of the sides, most of the interior done. So what you usually do is you want to start, make yourself a path, to get into the brush and once you get into the brush you start clearing out from the inside out you don't want to start from the outside in you want to start from the inside out when you have a cluster of trees like that there's a lot of vines um, a lot of stuff that gets tangled up and then what you want to do is you want to start training the trees to grow up and not out from down below so what you want to do is trim the trees um, lo uh, fairly low so that when you mow, you can get the tractor or lawnmower around it with ease and not get hit in the face. Uh, that, that's, that's part of uh, training the trees. And the trees do respond to that kind of cutting and trimming. Now you can't do too much of that at once because you might kill the tree. So without further ado, I think we'll head out there. Stop now. 
process a lot of it. And that usually takes more time than anything else.
that. You want to make sure that you get these trees below the below the soil line so that when you're mowing and stuff you make sure that you make sure that the deck doesn't hit it when you cut the grass later on and they'll just rot out but the other thing the other thing to keep in mind too is making sure that uh, if you do leave a stump or something like that, say you got a bigger stump, a little harder to get out. What I learned is you take the chainsaw and cut that thing out to a certain length. Then what you do is take your circulating saw, your reciprocating saw, and use the reciprocating saw to get below the soil soil line. What will happen is if you use that chainsaw to get below the soil line, and the way that South Virginia clay is, you'll end up, you'll end up uh, ruining your chainsaw blade really quick. So, the way to do it is just to 